Hi guys, it's Cindy, AKA Disney Queen, AKA Life and Times with Cindy. Um, I thought that I would share a product that I have been using for about three months now. Um, I really wanted to try the product a while before I talked about it. Um, I, um, my regular skincare routine is usually Mary Kay. And um, I've been using Mary Kay products for over 30 years. Um, but a friend gave me these products to try. Um, so I guess you can consider it gifted. Um, it's not sponsored or anything. The company doesn't even know anything about me. Don't know that I'm, I'm reviewing the product. But I received um, a whole set of, um, I received a whole set of Serious Skincare line. Um, I'd seen this line before on HSN because the um, spokesperson, I don't know if she's the owner, um, for the products is the wife of Sylvester Stallone. So I was familiar with the product, um, but like I said, been a Mary Kay girl all my time, all my life. Um, it says that it will give you like a lift, especially for ladies my age. I just turned 59. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I thought I would test it out for a little while before I gave you guys an honest opinion of it. Um, this is not something that I do very often, but, um, so let me show you first of all, all of the products that I received. So I was given full size products. I was given the reverse cleanser. I was given the, um, reverse lift, uh, for like your neck and chin area. I was given the um, reversed lift um, reverse serum. So actually this is called correction chin. So you use it on your chin area. This is a face serum. Um, this is a uh, reverse eye um, product cream. And then I also received the reverse lift um, reverse cream. So I will put a link below to the website so that you can read about the product for yourself. I just thought that I would give you like a little um, synopsis of what I thought of it.
So I'm going to tell you what I think of each of the products. So the reverse cleanser, which is you'll see in a video, um, I recorded me, you know, washing my face. Uh, this is 12 fluid ounces. So like I said, I've been using it now for about three months and I haven't gone through too much of it. Like if I can kind of look, I'm probably down to here. Um, and who I doubt that it was filled all the way when I began, but it's, it's, it's probably going to last me a good little while. Um, it is creamy and it is soapy when you wash with it. It has a slight perfumey, perfumey scent to it. So, um, if you're someone who is, uh, sensitive to things like that i would like do a taste a taste test i would do like a test of it before i would you know use it on my face regularly i do use it in the morning and i do use it at night um i haven't seen any um side effects from using it like i didn't have any breakouts i didn't um it didn't give my skin a hard time i will say this that I am at the age where every once in a blue moon, a little bump will show up. And while I've been using this, I really haven't had any problems with um, acne popping up. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or if that's, that means it's doing what it's supposed to do. I'm not an expert on these things. I just thought I would share with you how the product has worked for me. Um, it goes on great. It um, I only use like a dime size of it. Um, and I tried putting it on my washcloth and then washing my face. Um, it didn't lather up as well. So I find that it lathers up better if you use it. Um, you put it in your hand and then put it on your wet face. And so I would say, you know, I, I haven't worn makeup in a long time. So I don't know. I can't say to you how well it would take makeup off and usually when i use a cleanser i usually take use a makeup remover first and then i will use um, my cleanser to go back in um so most of the time my face is fairly clean and so it, it, i'm just gonna be honest with you it works about the same as my mary Kay, um and i think i prefer my mary Kay. I wish Mary Kay came in a size this, in this size, but my Mary Kay does last me for about a year. Um, so, uh, yeah. If I was to give it like a rating, I would say as a cleanser, it's like a seven or eight. It's not anything, like I don't feel anything special when I put it on. Um, like I said, it does have a slight scent to it, almost like a floral scent to it. And so it might be sensitive for some people. Um, I know my mom, like anything scented sometimes would, she would have like a, a sneezing attack. And sometimes I have had that happen to me. Um, I haven't had an issue with that with this. So that is the cleanser. Um, what I did was I slowly started to introduce my skin to each of the products. So the first week that I used it, I used the cleanser and the moisturizer that I'm going to show you at the end. Um, and then the next week, because I didn't have any issues with those, I, in, I incorporated the, um, I think the next thing I incorporated was the, um, the neck, uh, correction chin. And I just, so I went back and I looked at some videos of what they say about this and what it's supposed to do. And um, basically they say you're supposed to like see a difference in the lines in your neck. Um, as you get older, of course, you know, you start to see where you're starting to age around your neck area. And it says that it kind of lifts it up some. And when you put it on, you're supposed to like brush it. Um, you're supposed to like use an upward motion and lift up this way um this is what size is this this is two fluid ounces um 
I still have a lot of the product in here. Like I said, these were full size products. Uh, it says firming beauty cream for the chin, neck, and jawline. And so again, I put like a dime size of the product, not even a dime, yeah, a dime size um, of the product in my hand. And then I just, you know, <laughs> I just, you know, put it into my skin. I'm sure there's a better way of saying this, but I apply it to my skin and then use an upward motion to to put it all um, in my chin area, up around my neck area. And um, I will say with this, I didn't really notice like, ooh, you know, the lines and stuff starting to disappear. Um, I, I am starting to see that at my age i have that like you know how you as you get older you can see like a little wrinkleness around the neck area and so um i have a couple of uh lines here i guess from my weight difference and stuff um it's okay i don't think it for at least for me and i will say this you know, it may have a different effect on um, a person of color than it does on someone else. I have found that sometimes products do not work for our skin in the same way that they work for other people's skin just because of um, the different texture of our skin. So maybe for someone else, it may help the lines disappear. I didn't notice a significant change after using it for a couple of months. Um, so I don't know that this is something that I would recommend using. Um, and I don't know that I would necessarily say that it's just because my skin texture may be different. Um, when they did, when I went and looked at the video about it, they did use it on a woman of color. And so you just have to take it with a grain of salt. If it's something that you think might be worth trying, you know, try it out. I'm not saying they are not cheap products. I will say that. And so it is an investment if you decide to use this on your skin. And I know that sometimes you do have to try different things until you find something that works for you. But for me, I'm going to use the product up until I, you know, finish it. But I wouldn't necessarily purchase it myself for me. Just saying. So that was the uh, chin correction. And then I think the next product I use, other than the moisturizer, like I said, I did use the moisturizer. I did use the moisturizer on the very first day because after I did the cleansing, I did the moisturizer. The next thing I tried was the serum and it comes in like a pump form. Again, nice size product. I still have a lot of it. I don't even use a dime size portion of this. I just put like two pumps into my hand and then apply it to my face. And it is a little on the sticky side. It has that same floral scent that the um, cleanser and the other products have. And um, I didn't have any reaction to it. It didn't bother me at all. This is a 16 ounce fluid ounce of product. Um, I think that it would last you a very long time too, just because you don't have to use very much. Um, yeah, it was okay. It's a serum. Didn't really notice anything different <laughs> by using it. Uh, it did make my face feel a little sticky, so I feel I felt more relief once I put the moisturizer on. Um, on a scale of one to ten, a six. It's okay. Um, it's nice to pamper yourself and have full size products to do that with. So, if not for anything else, it's just nice to have it as part of the routine of doing your facial. So. That's my opinion on this one. Like I said, I'll leave a link below to the videos that I watched and also 
where you can find the products and how much each of them cost. The third thing that I tried was the um, reverse eye. That was the last of the products that I tried. Um, I use a eye serum from Mary Kay that I really like. It has like a cooling effect and um, it does like take care of some of the puffiness. Um, this is okay. I'll show you what it looks like. It's very small. Uh, you don't use a lot of it, but I would say out of all the products that this has gone down the fastest just because um, I wasn't using it in the morning. I only was using it at night. Um, and so it is actually down to here already. Um, and again, it's okay. Nothing to write home about. I don't know that I would buy it again. Well, I didn't buy it. So I don't know that I would purchase it. Um, it just, it's just an eye cream. I don't notice any difference and it is what it is. Now I would say my favorite thing out of all of the products was definitely the moisturizer um after you wash your face um and then especially at night you know after your skin is kind of dry and you have been um out and about and you know sometimes you know when you get home and you're taking your makeup off or you're just washing your face for the night that your skin just feels like it needs some moisture and this is a very moisturizing product this does not smell full. What surprised me was, and it comes in a little jar like this. I don't see this lasting very long because if you look at the inside of it, hold on. Can't get it off. There we go. That's how much I have left in it. I only use a little bit. I put a dab in my hand and it does a really good job, but it does not have that floral smell that the other products do. And I actually like that about it. It has more of a clean smell to it, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what this feels like and exactly what it smells like. You know, the Pond's cold cream, that is what this smells like. And this is what it feels like. And the reason I know is because I sometimes use Pond's cold cream to moisturize my face. And when I opened the jar and I smelled it and then I felt this before I put it on my skin, it's like the exact same thing. And I can guarantee the Pond's cold cream is a lot less. So I love this because it reminded me of that and it moisturizes really, really well. Um, it does have like a greasy feel to it when you put it on, but eventually it, it, it seeps into your skin and it does keep your skin moisturized. I use it in the morning and I use it at night. Um, but I would go and buy the Pond's cold cream because I've used that for years and it's been a great moisturizer for me. So that is my opinion of the um, Serious, serious Skin Care Line. Um, I'm not trying to knock it. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with not trying it. If it's in your budget to try, it's not a bad product. Um, I don't know, I don't feel that it does all of the things that it advertises that it does, but it has been fun using it. It is, it does feel like it's like a great um, uh, moisturizer, a great cleanser. The other products are nice to have, but I don't see any real significant difference. Um, I'm looking at the time on this now, and it looks like this is gonna actually end up being a separate product. I mean, it's gonna be a separate video because I'm at 18 minutes just chatting with you guys. Doesn't include, you know, the working on the, um, showing you me washing my face and stuff. And so, yeah, it looks like this is gonna be its own video, which is fine. Um, 
I will just, you know, start to get ready for my day and vlog about that separately. So I hope that this was something that you were interested in. I don't see me doing a lot of um, product reviews because one, I don't wear makeup that often. I do like my Mary Kay line and I think I've talked about it before in a previous video. But um, yeah, I don't see changing. Um, I will use this until I've used it up because just because I don't want to waste it and it was a gift. But I don't see switching from my Mary Kay to this. Um, uh, yeah, I tried it. It's okay, but it's not something that I would go out of my way to get. So I hope that this has been informational to you if you have, because I know me. Um, sometimes I see products come across my Instagram or my Facebook feed and I'm like, I wonder how that really works. And I had seen it on HSN. So I had always wondered, you know, does this product really, really work? Um, because I had used Mary Kay for so very, very long. I wasn't opposed to trying something new. And because I had full size products, I knew I would be able to really give it a good test. Um, and I've done that and I'm satisfied with the products that I was already using. And so um, this was just something bonus and fun to do. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, like what are you waiting for? And if you'd like to know when the next video will come out, all you have to do is hit that notification bell below. So until I see you next time, guys, have a blessed day.